Hey guys, just doing a calibration tutorial on how to calibrate ER9X once you've got it converted over from the standard Turnigy package. Okay, I've just zoomed in here a little bit. And what we want to do is we want to get it so that it comes down to the option where you can see the two squares there. Now what those two squares represent is the left stick and the right stick. Now, um, the three lines in the center represent this pot, this pot, and this pot. Okay, so if you have a look at the screen there, you can see in the top right hand corner of the right hand stick, which is the square on the right, See how it's got the little square on the outside? And this one here has got the square on the bottom right hand corner. So, if you, if you, I'll just zoom out a little bit and I'll show you what I mean by there's no response from center stick to the outside. I'll just get a little bit of a better angle. Okay. So, if you have a look on the right hand square, at the top right hand corner, right there, you'll see the square there. When I move this right stick from the center to the outside, there's nothing happening on that. The, the little digital reading for the stick's not even registering at all from the center to the outside. But when I move it from the center to the left, you watch what happens goes all the way across to the left but when I let go to the center it goes all the way across to the right and when I go down it goes all the way to the top and it's only at the center and when I go up there's nothing so that's dead and that's dead but it works from there and it works all the way down there from halfway it goes all the way the full length of it okay and the same thing with my left stick. If I touch the throttle stick on the right hand side, see how the, the square is representing where the stick position is. And it's at the right hand side. It should actually be in the center, at, at the bottom actually, in the center. If I, if I center my stick like that, it should actually be right in the center here. And the other one should be right there in the center, as it is. Okay, so how do we fix that? What we do is we need to calibrate it. Okay, so I'll leave this on here so we can see the buttons and what we do. But what you do is you press the back button and hold it down for quite a, uh, you know, about a second. And it comes up with the radio setup screen. Okay, and on the right hand side there you'll see it says 1 slash 6 at the top corner there. What we need to do is scroll back with the back button, or the plus button, and we want to go to the next one, which is um, 6 of 6, which is calibration screen, okay? What we'll do is you press the menu button to start the calibration process. But before we do that, we'll just flip it forwards and make sure all of your dials are centered to 0, 0 over here, zero on the on the there's a zero mark right here and that should line up with the dash on this on this toggle the same for this there's a, there's a zero here and a zero there and there's a zero here and there's a mark on there and I've got them all lined up so you, that's so what you need to do is get them all lined up so it saves you one job and then just go press menu start calibration okay now it says set midpoint and then press menu when done okay we'll set the midpoint of all the three the three pots which are the three dials now all we need to do this one here is already centered the right stick the left stick we'll just got to move up to, to it goes to center which is there okay now that's centered we press menu and now you move the sticks and press menu when done. What that means 
is basically the transmitter wants to know where the full range of those sticks are. So what I do is I just go straight down, pull to the left to the furthest extent, top left, top right, top down, top left. And then to see if it's found it, you move the, the stick around and you can see the little square moving around. See that? And then when I let it in the center, it's in the center. And when I actually get center stick, it's right in the center. The little dot. And when I move it off, see it move off? Okay, so that one's done. And then we've got to do the same for this one here. Bottom, left, you can do it either way, but I just find it easier just to go clockwise. And then just go backwards. So all to the extreme, four extremes of the transmitter. And it will go back to center. And see there's a cross in the middle. And that sticks centered. I don't know if you can see both of those at once. But when I pull it down. See it starting to move? Straight down. And when I go from the center to the left. Same thing. All the way. Back to center. Right. To center. Top. To center. Okay, so now we need to do that. That's those are done. Now we need to do the dials. Okay, so I just need to move the dials. So all the way down, all the way up, and back to center. All the way down, all the way up, back to center. All the way down, all the way up, and back to center. And now when you have a look at the dials. Okay, I've pressed, sorry, I've pressed menu, and that means I'm, I'm done anyway, so that's done. So just to check to make sure it's all there, if you have a look on the screen there, you can see my sticks are at, one's at centre, and I'll put them both at centre, and the dots in the centre should be in the centre. See here? There's one there, and there's one there, they're both right in the centre. And they move up and down just as they should. So that's it, calibration's done, exit out with the exit button. And you're done. Thanks for watching.